Hello and welcome back everyone, and I'm proud to say that I have added even more to your favorite mod for the powder toy. That's right, Jacob's mod- I mean- <coughs> I mean, the biology mod. I have added a brand new feature, which is in here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. Alright, alright, alright guys, I fixed it, I fixed it. So let's go ahead and test it out by making a nice little meat worm. Yes, you all love meat worms. Mmm, yummy. Here we go. We're gonna make a nice meat worm. We're gonna get some of that. Okay, I actually did this in like the wrong order. Okay. Uh, this creature is not going to have a stomach, so we're going to have to feed it directly into its bloodstream. But that's okay. All we have to do is we just go and get some glucose and we'll just pour some glucose into its blood. It'll be fine. Don't you love it when someone pours glucose directly into your bloodstream? I know you love it. I know you do. Mmm, yummy glucose. Alright, now this is gonna get full of CO2, so we're gonna add a little bit of void so that that CO2 gets replaced. We'll just add it to both sides. And boom! We now have a functioning organism. I'm not a little fan for circulation reasons, but overall, this functions like a healthy organism and its skin is going to begin to grow, hopefully. Uh, the blood isn't really flowing, which is a slight problem, but we can try to get the blood to flow by adding a little bit of force. So. As you can see on the top left here, if I switch this to a circle and I just take a bite out of the skin, it's going to regrow. It's going to use resources available to the cell. But if this bottom layer of the skin gets damaged, you're gonna notice it doesn't do as good of a job. Now there's a little bit of a divot, and without that bottom layer of skin, it has a hard time healing. If a lot of damage is done to the surface, we get this gap in the skin. And if this gap in the skin becomes a huge issue and goes all the way through, our organism will bleed. And this is bad because if enough blood is lost, it won't be able to circulate oxygen and keep itself alive and it will die. So what can we do to reduce the damage? Well, I have added platelets to the powder toy. Now let's go ahead and add some platelets to its blood. So I'm just gonna pour some platelets in and we're gonna let them get mixed in a little bit. Let's give it some time. Maybe we need to increase the rate at which the fan is going. Help it, help it get a little bit more blood moving. There we go, there we go, there we go. We have heavily improved the blood flow. And now you can see that those platelets are in fact mixing through. Now let's go ahead and give it an injury and see what happens. All right, I'm going to cut right through into the uh, skin. And as you can see, these platelets are going into the hole and they are becoming scar tissue. Look at that, scar. And so because it only reacts when it touches skin, it's not going to cause a clog in the actual blood vessel. But you can see really clearly how powerful this is because it's actually able to heal itself. Of course, it's just kind of hanging out around here now. Guys, you're not needed there anymore. You're not needed there anymore. But the point is that you can go ahead now and sprinkle a little bit of platelets into your organism. And as long as there's platelets in the bloodstream, it should be able to handle different kinds of damage. So for example, let's give it a really hard one. Let's go ahead and put a big flame under it. And this is gonna do some damage. Oh yeah, I may have done a little bit more damage than I was intending! Oh, wow. Okay, um... Yikes. We just set the entire thing on fire. The skin is literally burning. We've got like third degree burns going through. Now the skin is trying to repair itself, but there are several parts which are just absolutely taking a ton of damage. 
Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. This may actually be too much. This may be too much for it to handle. Let's go ahead and add some water. Add some water. Put out the fire. Okay, yeah, there's no way it's going to be able to fix that. Uh, let's go back a few seconds and do a slightly smaller fire test. There we go. Okay. There's a, there's a little bit. This is still an extreme burn. This is going to be a third degree burn. It's just not going to be quite as bad. <laughs> Um, so you can see that the dead tissues coming off that final layer of skin is mostly not being destroyed But there are spots of it that are being ripped through yikes Right there. It's on fire. It's on fire. It's burning into the actual muscle Actually, I think I think that burns may just be too challenging to recover from um this is why burns in real life are just such a horrible thing to get because there's so little there's so little left alive for it to repair off of. Um, yeah, this dead tissue is just kind of stuck. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, maybe maybe burns aren't the way to to test this, but definitely things like puncture wounds are uh, definitely uh, something that can be. Also, maybe n n something like being hit by uh, radiation damage. Radiation damage certainly does damage, uh, but it's kind of hard to test with because something like protons would be, you know what, uh, photons may actually be something that we can test against. Maybe a laser strike, because I think this actually will. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So that was, that was getting hit by a laser, basically. And you can see how there's just that direct damage straight through. Now let's put out the fire, because that's not really what we're testing. But look! Look, the clotting is actually taking place a little bit. Of course, there isn't much skin left to clot, but we definitely have... We have a little bit of scar tissue which is being formed, and that little bit of scar tissue is actually enough, actually enough to pretty much clog it. Look at that. I mean, there's still a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of blood going through. However, if there were no platelets, this would have been game over. It would have died rather than just having a tiny bit of bleeding. Tiny bit of bleeding, fine. Dead, not fine. This, this poor cell, there's just like random water inside of it. There's, I guess it's many cells. This poor organism, it's got water inside of it, two puncture wounds, one of which from a freaking laser, but it's still surviving. Although this, this section is having a little bit of trouble getting blood. Uh, it's fine though, I'm sure it's fine. Nothing's going wrong, it's fine. Um, overall though, it survived and look, even more clotting has taken place, and now there is no blood leaking at all. We will set off a firework uh, underneath it. Some explosives testing. All right. Firework. Did I actually place one? Oh no, that's fire, that's not fireworks. All right, firework, fire, fire in the hole. All right, and now, impact, ooh, that was a nice boom. Definitely some damage to the organism here from the heat created, at least. Um, not dead. Oh! Oh, that's not good. That's, that's, that's not good. So the skin, the skin actually did attempt to grow to fight back. So we have both skin and scar tissue here, which are working together to try to defend against that damage that was just done. Wow, very effective. It's actually, it's built this really, really thick, really thick scar to defend against it. I'm actually really shocked. That, that was really cool. All right, let's go ahead and do a little bit more. 
and see if it can survive another three fireworks being shot at it. All right, three, two, oh! Yikes, okay, that has gotta hurt. Okay, um, we have now, again, the scar tissue is working together with the regrowing skin, but that is a huge hole. Uh-oh. Oh no, oh no, it's ripped all the way through. Look at the massive dead tissue that's forming. Oh boy. Okay, explosives kind of challenging to survive. But overall, overall, you know, you get a big damage spot on your cell and you need some help, you need some, you need to survive. Now you have a brand new uh, element at your disposal to fill in the hole and just repair. <clears throat> it's not perfect. But it'll do a really good job of stemming the leak in a hurry. Eventually we'll have proper regrowth mechanics with white blood cells actually determining what used to be there. But we're not quite there yet. So thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And if you want to, you know, suggest anything to be added to the biology suite, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Or what I would prefer is if you jumped over to... Valor, oh, val, Valor. Dot gg, and went over there and told me what you want to see because Valor is where I do almost all of my uh, stuff now. So if you want to catch me, if you want to catch me online and tell me what you want to see, Valor.gg, make an account. It's free. It's a platform I'm developing, and I will see you all next time. Peace out. Whoosh, the blood valor. Very nice advertising tactic.